Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. Ooh, I mean, I just feel like I'm ready for the game. Now you feel ready. <laughs> okay, I got to tell you something. So we have <laughs> meetings almost daily where we discuss what we're going to do for yeah. the show the next day. And so we're talking and we're like, you know, the Steelers home opener is Sunday, but we're not on on Sunday. So maybe we should have a little tailgate. Do you think we overdid it? No, but here's the thing. <laughs> that was at 1030 yesterday morning. And look at this. And look, look. at this. So, I mean, <laughs> first of all, kudos to Teddy and Krista. We got to give a shout out to Dan Noskazy, who helped us, mm -hmm. and Yinzers in the Strip for bringing us all of this amazing yeah, gear. Yeah, Yinzers in the break. I mean, they pretty much have everything there. I don't I've been there like on a Sunday morning in the Strip District. That store is bananas, insane. It's yeah. busy, but really you can find pretty much anything you need there as far as like, Pittsburgh sports paraphernalia. It's they have everything. It's insane. Yeah. Like even these sneakers, you can get sneakers, gold sneakers with the Steelers logo on them. You can get a blinged out <laughs> sequins jacket. Like if you want to go to the game in style, why this wouldn't is you? where you do it. Yeah. How about a Steelers nutcracker? <laughs> oh yeah. I, I mean, could see that you you could use that. My mind is blown. We have a whole bunch of other gear too. We have clothes here, uh, purses. Oh, yeah, this this is cool, and it's it's see through, so you could take it into the game. They thought of everything. They thought yeah. of everything. It is honestly, <laughs> it's it's a treasure to go into this store. So look for them in the strip district. We want to say thank you again for bringing all this fun stuff. We're going to mm -hmm. be sorting through some of the stuff and. I don't know. I'm going to be sending the text like, how much is this? <laughs> I'm keeping this. I need this. Oh, there's a Steelers high heel shoe. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's cute. Why not? Yeah, okay. And we also have uh, pierogies here. You probably, oh, they're up there in the front. Uh, from Pierogies Plus, they're in McKee's Rocks. Um, and their pierogies, they say, are prepared in the Polish tradition, of course, by Eastern Europeans. And they say if you want more authentic pierogies, you'll have to fly to Warsaw. They just don't come any tastier than theirs. So, uh this Would you is amazing. Say that that's true. Are they? They good? are delicious. The dough is soft. They're cooked. Mm. I mean, you can you can tell mm -hmm. the love that's put into them. I have to tell you, um, some places, and I I think Pierogies Plus does this too. You can get a bunch of different kinds of pierogies, so cheese yeah. and stuff with other things with the potato. Frankie at the firehouse will sometimes do um, pierogi surprise, where you pierogi make surprise. all of them in one pot. <gasps> And you don't know what you're going to get. Yeah. So it could be cheese. <laughs> Surprise! It could be something else. It could be another flavor, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. They also have sandwiches, looski, stuffed cabbages, crab cakes. So that's the plus part of it. So you can pretty much get anything you want there. This oh, Pierogies so are home to me. Yeah. It, it is. It feels like home. My, mm -hmm. I, when I was growing up, my mom would make pierogies mm -hmm. and so kielbasa, And, you know, that was a meal for us sometimes. And um, so to me, carbs on carbs. It's a win. It's perfect. It's a win. So if you want to bring them to your Steelers tailgate, if you're going for the home opener this weekend, there you go. They smell so good. And take a look at this. Again, thanks to Dan for bringing this in. Um, this is amazing. It's like a third co-host we have today. <laughs> it's a little it's scary. I feel like someone's looking yeah. at me. He is. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So, I mean, the Steelers, they started off with a big win last week so this Blew is the second game of the season it's their home opener here and um, i think we have a, a pretty good shot playing the patriots right so of course tj watt injured um and a lot of people are you know keeping a close eye on what's going on with him we saw some pictures of him at practice uh you know with some ice keeping his pec Right. Um, in check. <laughs> Keeping his peck in check. Keeping I like his that. Peck in check. But the good thing is, is that he doesn't have to have surgery. Right. And he, he has to miss at least four games, but he, he may be back second half of the season. Fingers so that's crossed. something to look forward to. It's so yeah. funny because earlier this week we had Arthur Motes on for our Monday motivation. Yeah. And he was saying if anybody can avoid surgery, it is him because his brother had the same injury. He didn't need surgery and actually finished really quickly. And that doesn't happen to a lot of people. So. Yeah. We're thinking of him, and uh, I think he'll be fine. So here we go, Steelers. We would love to see some of your pictures, too. Come to our Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook page, and, you know, you can always email us, too. If you go to the game or if you have any great tailgates or if you're just celebrating at home watching the game, send them over to us. I'm We'd glad love we to had this them. tailgate here today. Like it's so much great. fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you talk to your trees? I do. Plants? Yeah? 
I do. What actually. do you say to them? Well, so Frankie got me a cherry blossom tree a couple of years ago, and sometimes I just walk by it and I just say, "You're looking good today." Yeah, you're looking good. <laughs> Look at you growing. <laughs> you're just looking so pretty today. See? Yeah, yeah. I like to talk. So there's actually a company that will pay you not just a little bit of money, like a salary, $48,000 for a job. And this is a one year gig. They're gonna send you $4,000 a month. And here, here's what they wanna do. This is, um, they're gonna send you two trees. Both are indoor, both are low maintenance. One of them is gonna be your chat tree. Mm -hmm. the, the other is not. You're gonna take care of them both equally, water, enough sunlight, all of that but you're gonna talk to the one and they wanna see if talking to your tree proves the theory that if you talk to plants and trees that they will actually do better. Yeah, I, you know what? I think this theory could be true. The fact that I think they will do better. I think it's more so about like the vibrations from your mm. voice, like when you're talking to the tree, like they feel that and then they grow and it all works out. So I think this study is gonna, it's gonna show that that's the case. I don't know, our tree has taken off. It is doing so yeah. well. But I don't think you can yell at the tree. Like, I, I, I think it has to be like smooth talk. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, it's all positive talk when I talk to the tree. Mm -hmm. I just check in. Ants will sometimes call in. I say, what are you doing here? Yeah. I'll take care Go of it. Go away. Don't worry. Go, yeah. Yeah. Good for you. So this could be a side hustle for you. We were talking earlier this week about mm -hmm. side hustles, and you, you and I both have not found. No, and I feel hustle. like I need a side hustle. So I mean, we were looking this up, and we were thinking some of some ideas. So maybe you can, you'll hear one here that strikes your fancy. So how about like renting out your car? What do you think about that? I mean, I know there's all no. of these companies that you can do that. I think maybe one is Turo, but I mean, I feel really close to my car, and yeah. the fact of having someone else in it and then giving it back, I, don't, I would be worried the whole time. I will tell you one of the, I, the, there are 18, and this all comes from Next Advisor. So become an online coach, build passive income with real estate, start a YouTube channel. The one that spoke to me is selling products online. Can I tell you that Facebook is now, that's what I use it for. The marketplace. Frankie is like, mm -hmm. why do you keep selling all of our stuff? And I'm like, because <laughs> I just, we just don't need it. Well, I'm just what, gonna sell it. What why kind not? of stuff do you sell? Do you sell his I stuff? I sold a desk, I sold furniture. Or not, is it, furniture chairs oh, okay. if you don't need them anymore or kids clothes like mm -hmm. you just and then and then here's the thing if it doesn't sell in a, any amount of time I'm not attached to it I'll just donate it then yeah. I, but, I, I will know. say when I, I moved from my house a few years ago and I sold all of my furniture I sold chairs desks old printers I, I got basically it's I got fun, rid of a it? whole house in two days. It's so yeah. much fun. Yeah. I love selling. I'm like, this is mine, and now I'm getting money back for it. It's amazing. Yeah. All right, let's get to your questions. Today is Friday, Yay. and it's time for our Friday free-for-all. We're going to start with Colleen. She says, I want to say hi to David and Gary. Please take one day at a time. Yes, watch over Marvin, and God bless both of you. See you soon on PTL. Oh, David will be back next week. Yeah. Um, and I've been talking to him. He actually texted me this morning a picture of Marvin sleeping on his pillow. Oh. So everything is well at home. The transition is going okay, and he is. He's taking it one day at a time. So. He is. Excited to see him back. Okay, uh, Diana, she says, do you change into comfy clothes when you get home? For her, it's T-shirts and leggings. For me, it's it's right away. Like, right I go away. upstairs, everything, and, and sweatpants and T-shirt, and I just have to, like, get it all. And then I wipe off my makeup, too. Yeah, I love comfy clothes. If I could live in just sweatpants, I would, which is, you know, some people have done over yeah. the pandemic. All right, Tom is asking, does Ron give lessons on how to play cornhole? <laughs> so Clearly. We actually have oh, made cornhole that. boards. Um, I don't think your regulation distance from I'm, the board. I'm not. I'm not. But so, that, 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 <laughs> um, you calling me out? So, Ron, do you Thanks. play cornhole on your on, in your free time on the weekends? You know, I'm going to tell you that uh, in my neighborhood, um, they, they they have a house right across from me. It's the cornhole house. Oh, so, oh, okay. Yeah. So, and that's where all of us guys go. Now, I'm not there enough, so I'm horrible. Um, but they are really good. I'm so, sure. Right. Yeah. So you know, just right, uh, let's try it again. That then. Keep that. Keep that elbow in. Right? Elbow oh. in. Elbow in. Elbow in. Nice, right there. soft, gentle toss. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. You know. Okay. On yeah. the board. Right. You can do twice. it backwards, maybe. Maybe. My God. Ah. Oh. Well. <laughs> there we go. So I don't know about <laughs> tips, Tom, but we have a board here. At we KDK do. And Okay. Get enough practice in. You do not want <laughs> tips for me. <laughs> Rose says, hi, everyone. I would like to know what you would all like to do. Uh, would you like to do a segment with your partners all on the same day? I love the show. Thanks, Rose. Rose, um, here's the thing. We have learned that our partners, uh, with the exception of maybe Jordan, I mm -hmm. don't know 
they don't like to be on TV. Gary and, and Frankie, for sure, I know this to be true. Yeah, I mean, I don't know yet. We're gonna have to test this out. I mean, he's an actor, well, right? So, so maybe. His, like his job is to be on TV, but I don't know about in this format because we just we Talk. we go off the cuff here. We yeah. just say whatever, and yeah. that all of that is mainly scripted. So we'll, we're gonna have to test this theory and see what he thinks. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Paul says, "What's one TV show cancellation you're still <gasps> upset about to this day? Oh, do you have one? It's all of the uh, TGIF Friday. Remember for I do. Yes. And Perfect Strange, Perfect Strangers was a part of that, wasn't it? And wait, this is a '90s throwback. But who remembers Snick? Snick? No. Wait. You don't what remember was that? Snick? No. Ron, do you remember Snick? I have no clue. Snick. What was Snick? Snick Snickers. Was Saturday night on on Nickelodeon. Oh. oh. And I think that they had that. Are you afraid of the dark? Okay. Do you remember? Do you guys remember this? I do I, remember. I don't, know. I don't even know if I had. Well, I think we had Nickelodeon sometimes, and other times not. <laughs> I get that too. I get but, that yeah. too. Okay. Snick. Snick. I, I need someone, someone to help me out with this because I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's what it was. Saturday I think you're night on, on yeah. Nickelodeon. Yeah. I, I I do remember that now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. And are you afraid of the dark? I don't, I, I don't know. That's just what I remember. I don't think that still exists anymore. Okay. Teresa says uh, she has a few questions. Uh, besides Wordle, do any of you play other games on your phone? What's your favorite or least favorite board game? So, board game for me, I would say Monopoly. I love playing Monopoly. Uh, that's a lot of fun. Do I you feel like I always win. Just, I'm kind of boring. Solitaire. It, it, that's yeah. it. <laughs> um, so, I downloaded a Frozen. It was kind of like a. Um, like a candy crush or like one of those things where you have to make matches mm -hmm. for Lila and I became so obsessed with it. I downloaded it <laughs> on my phone and I got up to like, I mean, I had played so many, I got the message like, stand by while more oh. we're creating more games. <laughs> like it, I, I didn't beat it. But it's it just fun, kept on right? Yeah. All right, I want to get to this. Um, I think someone asked about favorite Halloween costumes as a kid. Do you have one from a kid? From oh, I remember. Uh, <laughs> Not me personally, but I remember my brother. He had a great costume. I'm, he dressed as a Ninja Turtle, and I don't think maybe my mom couldn't afford to get his costume that year. But he, she put like a hamper, and she tied a hamper top on Genius. his back as his shell, and he was just happy. He was Genius. five. He didn't yeah. care. I yeah. think being creative is the mm -hmm. best. Um, so I, I know that I had favorites as a kid, but really we have taken off with our kids now. So this is when Lila was a baby when we played Sesame Street, played characters from Aww. Sesame Street. This is uh, from Frozen when Sunny was about eight months old. This was a little bit later than following year as Incredibles. This was one of my favorites when I went as security for Rocco, who was running for president. <laughs> Big hit and a yeah. lot of fun. Um, last year I went as Carol Baskins. Oh, was it last year? I think Carol Baskins mm -hmm. and the Tiger King. Um, you guys always do it. Anyway, so, big. so we had we have fun with it. I don't know what we're gonna do this year that yet though. We're I, still working on it. Uh huh. I think it's gonna be superheroes. You're we'll creative. See. You're behind all of this. I know the creative aspect of the it's family. Fun. We have fun. <laughs> There's a party in Pittsburgh this weekend, and the soundtrack is smooth jazz. We're getting you ready for the music and the food. And PTL is taking you to another party too, a special puppy party celebrating Donnie's first birthday. Selena is there and we're joining her. It's 